actually cleanse the land of the blood spill is by spilling that same blood. Okay? And the law has not been done away with. So that alone shows you that Esau, along with the other nations, their blood has to be shed. They had to be put in captivity just for a land to be cleansed. Just so that the land could be cleansed. Not one tittle, one dot, one jot. Exactly. So that, that goes for the shedding of Esau's blood. And when you look up, uh, I believe, Edom or Esau in the dictionary, it tells you that Edom is the only uh, na neighbors of the, Is of the Israelites that have, that, have him, uh, that have no forgiveness under the Most High. Okay? No salvation whatsoever. Okay? Because they're, they're the only nation that's, that's actually going to be eradicated. Okay? The other nations, after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, they're going to go back to their respective lands and they're going to live out their lives, but they're going to be subject to us, to Israel. But Esau, you're going to be completely destroyed. You're going to be completely obliterated. Job uh, 12, verse 23. He the increase of the nations and destroyeth them. He increases the nations and destroyeth them. Okay? I'm sure if you've been looking at the census, they tell you that today we have more people on the earth than we ever had during any time period. Okay? The scripture just said, it said he increases the nations. The reason why he increases the nations, many of you so-called white people, you so you Arabs, you Moabites, you, you uh, Chinese, you Japanese, you Ammonites. The reason why he increased your number is for the sword. That's, that's actually a, a precept. If, the, if that children be multiplied, it's for the sword. So, so there's no convincing a, a, a man of the most high that an Edomite, a so-called white man, can be saved, okay? Because the word doesn't say. Yeah, both lies. <laughs> Come on, yeah. A few, a few, a few Edomites gonna deny their father. That's not in the scriptures. So, Romans 9 and 17, even the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up. Yeah, so, I might... so Isaiah, uh, what was that, 45? And I glory praise the light and darkness. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, 45 and 7. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. So the Lord raised Pharaoh up. Pharaohs are the kings of Egypt. He raised them up. He rose them up. Okay? So what? So we could destroy them, okay? Just so we could destroy them. So it wasn't because of the Egyptians were mighty, or the Egyptians knew how to uh, mine gold, or enslave other uh, nations around them, other Hamites. It's because the Most High raised them up to a point, and then he cut them off, okay? The Song of Moses tells you about that. Pharaoh's horse and chariots as he drowned in the depths of the sea. The Song of Moses. That's why he raised them, just to destroy him. And the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, is doing the same thing to America. He raised America up, and now the Lord is slowly bringing America down. We sort of doing a spiritual demolition right now. Yep. Sharing our strongholds. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And that my name might be might be declared throughout all the earth. So this word, this word is going out throughout all the earth. Because among GMS, we have camps all over the world. Okay, we have camps in Holland, Germany, Alaska. Alright? And we have the internet. Okay? You got people in Kazakhstan, people in Russia watching videos. Alright? Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy. So it's up to the Lord. Okay? It's up to the Lord who determines, he the one who determines who lives and who's going to die. Okay? The so called white people are going to be put to death. Right? That's right. That's you, know, right. you don't think it's natural to wear a coat when it's fucking cold outside? Okay? Or to bundle up? Or to be fucking wearing shorts? Fucking 10 degree weather? Yeah, that's, that's not natural. Alright? That's pride. Now. Natural out, outdoor, yeah. outdoors, man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outdoors with mountain climbers. In whom he will, he hardeneth. 
whom he will, he hardened. Okay? So the most high hardened the so-called white man's heart. And he kept us in slavery. Okay? He didn't uh, tell us who that we were Israelites. Okay? He didn't tell us that there were different tribes among the Israelites. He didn't tell, tell us that he was Esau. All right? He just uh, took us out of physical slavery through the spirit of the most high. Okay? He took us out of physical slavery and put us in uh, spiritual slavery. Okay? Mental slavery. They made us uh, in doctrine to work in the, to be uh, a slave to the system. Like if you want to survive in the system, you have to work, all right? You can't just live out in the wilderness and live off the land. We have to be partially integrated into the society to survive. And if we're getting out with slaves, you gotta, to, get, to leave the country, you gotta get a passport. You can't just leave the country. Like some, some devils, some proud niggas that say, if you don't like America, why don't you leave? Well, you gotta get documentation to leave. And you gotta pay for it. And then you gotta wait, okay? And the devil is every fucking word, man. Exactly. Who the the devil's in that fucking Africa. Since you niggas think we're African, we're not fucking African. We're in space. Right? Where are we gonna go, man? The, so -called, the white man, so-called white man Esau, they control the resources coming out of Africa, okay? France is getting mineral resources going back to France. Britain is getting mineral resources going back to Britain. The Chinese are getting mineral resources going back to China. America's getting mineral resources and coming back to America, okay? They got they got the uh, the form of the Africom over there where they use the different uh, African nations troops and they put them under a UN a UN banner, okay? And they fight the wars that they want them want them to fight that the elite want them to fight. There's a war going on in Congo right now, and all of all of so the soldiers they're, they're from their respected nation, but they got they got UN badges on, UN helmets, and UN uh, artillery. They're, 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 yeah, exactly. They're killing their own people. All right? They're fighting under the, the, the banner of, of the beast, all right? This is uh, Job 20 and uh, 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Yeah, the triumphing of the wicked is short, okay? So in comparison between the, the righteous and the wicked ruling, the righteous, we're gonna out, we're gonna outlive the wicked. The wicked are you so-called white people, okay? All right. The wicked are you so-called white people. All right. There's nothing righteous about you. You never did anything good. It's also the scripture to prove that uh, America has an end, man. Uh, America is not gonna continue. The triumphing of the wicked is short, meaning America is to be short-lived. All these plans that you have to go on to fucking 2020, all right? You don't even know if you're gonna make it to fucking next year, all right? With all these prophecies coming to pass, 2013 might be the end for you, for you fucking devils, man. That's real. And that's the prayers that we put up to the most high. Yeah, Baba Bo, okay? Exactly, destroy Babylon, destroy America. How is Shinawa, you know? Yeah, we ain't looking to compromise no way, all right? We ain't looking to fucking move to a different fucking region. Because like the brother already mentioned, you devils inhabit every fucking thing. And then regulate it. And I wanted to add a point onto the, to what the brother said. Um, he said, basically, you get indoctrinated into the system just to fucking survive. That's what? The fulfillment of the curses. Us having to go to our enemy for one of all things. So the only way to make things right is for the Lord to come back and destroy America and restore the kingdom back to Israel. And another thing I wanted to prove, the brother mentioned how none of the prophets have been done away with, that the Lord was put on the cross. Even the disciples knew that when the kingdom was gonna be restored, a nation was gonna have to be brought down. Acts the first chapter. Will at this time, Lord, restore the kingdom to Israel. And the only way our kingdom could be restored, okay, is if another kingdom and nation is brought down. And that is the one ruling right now, which is Esau. That's, a, that's peace. Exactly. Okay. If that was the case, all the, all the disciples would ask the Lord was, is when he gonna teach Esau the truth so the kingdom can be restored? Yeah, he said the kingdom that, that? Exactly. Yeah, but in order for that to happen, the Lord told him, look, it's not, it's not for that time. That this prophecy that still need to come to pass, man. And that was 2,000 years ago, over. And Paul said, you know, through the spirit, 
that uh, it should not come except they come a falling away first. Come, something, yeah, something exactly. To that effect. Exactly. So what do we? We had to fall away. Fall away from what? Our heritage, our nationality, our language, everything. The boy that was here early, he yeah. stopped and that's what I said. Oh. I was talking to my voice, you know, he stopped for a little while, you know. Then oh, yeah, and then he left. Left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was making a point to what the brother was speaking again, uh, how the Most High put down one nation instead of another. Uh, uh, Psalm 75 is seven. The Most High is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Con, so America got to be brought down, which is why it's in a 16. 15, 16 trillion dollar debt and climbing. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the debt, I believe, is more than, than the income. Exactly, yeah. We have more yeah. debt than what's the money that's being generated. Exactly, that's, so, that's bad. And then you, 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 you simple fucking crackers and you simple fucking Israelites, you believe that America is going to continue, it's going to recover from that? Hell. Okay? No bond. GDP. No bond yeah. per pay. Yeah, exactly. So when the debt goes above the income, Sooner or later, the, the, the bankers are going to start collecting on that debt, okay? Exactly. Because we, we're not making enough. And then, oh, what are you going to have? You're going to have inflation. So the, the, the price for everything, okay, is going to go up. But oh, it's, it's really because decrease. the value of the dollar is being <laughs> decreased. Which means what? Which means what? Pay cuts, no fucking uh, raises, okay? You're going to be working overtime for the same fucking money that you'll be work making right now. Yeah. Just, just to be able to afford a gallon of milk, a box of cereal. Just these past two years, I means tuna, tuna went up a goddamn 40 cents in like two years, man. In two years, since 2010, my paycheck has decreased $30. Since 2010 to this date, my paycheck has decreased $30. And I may not seem, I seem like a lot, but we're, I'm poor, okay? That $30 can damn near fill my gas tank up. Right? Well, it is a lie, especially yeah. when you look at the, the the amount of the prices of things that gone up, man. Yeah, at, at forty at forty hours a week, getting the same hourly rate, my my, my pay is, is, is uh, went down thirty dollars. Okay, that just shows you how they're that they're doing that. One of the planks of the Communist Manifesto, I believe, is a a progressive uh, income tax. Okay, and we don't make income. 